You are a thief. Stop raising for Salam, Imo Takus Okorocha. Welcome to the news. And please subscribe to our channel. The Imo State government on Sunday said ex-governor Rocha Sokorocha was panicking over the arrest of a son-in-law. Uche wants it because he looted the wealth of the people of Imo State. Now, if you're not following this news, it was said that about, was it yesterday, which was Sunday, and the person in the, the Rocha Sokorocha in-law, I think a, hus a, a husband to his daughter, actually, you know, they was arrested. And now, it is not the fact that he was arrested. If you listen to the manner and those who have watched the video of how he was arrested, sincerely, you are going to be very, very pissed. Even if this man now, let's say for instance, he is accused of looting money. It is not in the manner. Nobody deserves to be treated like a criminal. If you see the way they bumped on this man and say if they are going to arrest Usman Donfodio or Saddam Hussein, or if you see the Amo, the kind of shooting sporadically uh -uh. as innocent civilians that were around. People that, God forbid, that we are going to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh. If you see the manner with which they arrested this man, they came with, they were shooting everywhere in a church. They were actually at service at one Anglican, one, I, I cannot say the, the name and the location of the uh, Anglican church. So if you see people, you got people talking, what is it? Even is this man, yes, let's say this man, okay, fine, he looted money. But is it not when somebody, when they caught privy guilty, they are guilty? I even do not even understand. That was what happened yesterday. We even start got, you know, now the manner in which they arrest this guy was so ruthless. And I'm asking. No, Roman was not carrying it that, you know, people are not saying it was a kidnap. Yes, because if you see the way they were shooting sporadically, they were manhandling him, they were doing all sort of things to him, pushing him as if, uh -uh. on top waiting, did he kill somebody? Sincerely, I don't care what the Imo state government will say. No human being supposed to be treated in such a manner. No human being, no whatsoever the crime committed. Even if the person is a murderer, for the sake of those around, they were innocent people around. They were mothers, they were fathers, they were aged people, they were children. It was a church for crying out loud. Ha! You won't come use your own reggae spoil person in blue because you want to arrest somebody. And it is not like he was resisting arrest. No, if you have not listened to the news, no, watch the video, search for the video. You understand what I'm saying, you understand how, I'm, how aggrieved I am. Even the so-called bandits. We are our own problem in this country. Bandits are pampered, giving rice and chicken, cold stone ice cream and juice. But if you see the manner this civilian was arrested sincerely, ah, wallahi, it was very wrong. Very wrong. Let's listen to the news in detail. The state commissioner for information and strategy, Declan Emelumba, said this while speaking with journalists at the government house in Oweri. He said the comments made by Korocha after the arrest were necessary because no one is above the law. Emelumba said Okorocha is raising a false alarm. He is panicking because he looted the wealth of a people of Imo state. This is a man who looted the common wealth of the Imo people. Neither he nor his son-in-law is above the law. He should allow the police to do their job. Okorocha should know that police have the right to arrest anybody. This is a man who converted a university built with immense people's money to personnel use. But this even government has recovered it for Imo people. Okorocha had accused the police of arresting Mwosu without a warrant. He alleged that operative who arrested his son-in-law during the church service at St. Peter's Anglican Church, Ejama Obieri, in the Nkura local government area of the state, pushed his wife in Kishi down and tore the clues of his first daughter, Uloma. He said, Uche Nwosu, my wife and daughter, we are the church for an outing service. When a group of men in police uniforms started shooting while the sermon was going on. In the course of the activities, they pushed down my wife and tore my daughter's clothes. No warrants of arrest, no invitation, no suspected kidnapping at first. We suspected kidnapping at first. Many people were injured while running. 
which and once he was dragged into a bus carrying Imo State Government's number plate. They were identified as policemen from the Imo State Government house by their colleagues attached to Uchi for the burial of his mother. I got the CP who said that the IGP approved his arrest. The shock of such an arrest without warrant and humiliating members of my family is unfortunate. Most security operatives in Imo know nothing about the arrest. I do not know what they framed up. The IGP could only do this on the high-level misinformation from Hope Uzadema. Over 100 gunshots to arrest Uche Mwonsu. What kind of ruthless behavior on an innocent citizen of Nigeria? Uzadema wants to frame you by all means. Uzadema has to answer the most for the activities going on. Uzadema must mention names of those who are responsible for insecurity in Imo State or he should be held responsible for all the killings in the state. Uzadema has framed up something against Uche Mwonsu. Buhari should be informed about what is happening in Imo State. Hundreds of citizens are being killed in this state. You see, I mean, I want these fights to continue. You know why? It's not that if these fights between these two politicians and they're going to wash their learning dirty, I mean, their dirty learning in the public, I want it to happen. No, what is even aggrieving me? Nobody's above the law. See, sometimes, eh? Play, play, they talk, say, whether white, whether and police know they see how white police people they operate. You want to arrest somebody, you want to go to the person, okay, are you Mr. So, 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 and so, yes, you are under arrest for this and that. Then the person will say, how come? How come? What happened? Then the person follows you quietly without resisting arrest. But this one, if you ask questions, they slap you and they beat you without even wanting to know if you're innocent. And at the day, end of the day, if you are now proven to be innocent, these people still extort money from you. Is it that they breathe from their bomb bomb? It is very annoying, no? Ah, sincerely, these people, they never, they never allow me to express myself. They never jam people where go deal with them. That is the thing. You handle, must handle somebody. They will just take it and go. Then tomorrow, we come here and say the person, the rank where you get, and I just handkerchief rank, Compared to the rank with the person where you know gets, they will do, they will even strip you of a uniform. No, they do pass yourself. You want to arrest somebody, go with your senses and your brain. Don't go and manhandle people. If you shoot somebody now, you know, eh, it is, they will not start blaming it on people. What is going on? I'm not against anybody.